Hey, so a lot of days I get comments, questions in the comments asking me about how the Fitness Reality A10 XLT Supermax Power Cage holds up in the winter. And I'm out here in Chicago. I'm about to get it in. You know, it's about 26 degrees outside. But I didn't buy it to sit back and wait till spring and summer to use it. So I put a tarp on it every day. I keep it nice and tight, like you see in the background over there. And I'm about to show you how I get it in out here and uh, show you how I wrap it up. I, like I said, I put that tarp on it. I cover it up like a newborn baby every night to make sure that it don't get all rusty and I can still be able to use it the same way I use it in the wintertime when the spring rolls around in summer. All right, let's get it in. <laughs> So I already know it's freezing. I gotta keep my, my baby right here nice and clean. Keep her nice and warm. So I went and got a huge tarp. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, do not get a small tarp because you will be frustrated and you won't wanna come out here if uh, you gotta deal with the tarp too much. I keep these chains on my father's father's chains. I keep the chains on the bottom to help me keep it from blowing. Cause you're gonna need something. If it if it start like if it's like um you know if, if it start uh if it's real windy outside, it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna wanna uh blow off. So I keep uh those chains at the bottom. Got a couple of, couple of these clips that I use to uh, wrap it and keep it tight. And you're gonna see, it's gonna be nice and dry. Like I said, I have some smaller, um, I have some other kind of wraps and they were, they were tight. There's one of them on the back of that uh, grill back there. But I found that to be too much work. And I guarantee you, if you wind up get, getting a wrap like this, you're going to thank me later if you get a, big, a bigger wrap than you're supposed to have. And as you can see, it's all dry in here. Okay, outside, wet. Under there, dry. All my stuff is nice and dry. When I finish, I wipe it down before I put the wrap back in. And then I climb inside and I make sure that there ain't nothing else in here wet after, you know, that got wet after I already wiped it down. Because like I said, this is my baby. I'm taking care of it because I love it. That's that Fitness Reality A10 Supermax Power Cage. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a song. I'm going to make a song up. <laughs> I like that. That's that Supermax Power Cage. <laughs> yeah. Now, if y'all watch my rope video, you're going, I'm going to use this rope today. And I, I like a smaller rope, y'all. And the reason why I like this smaller rope is uh, I could do some one hand work with it. And uh, I just like a smaller rope, man. It still get a great workout. I'm lifting weight, so I ain't worried about the work, the, the weight being super heavy. <sighs> yeah. So, as y'all know, I love the Fitness Reality A10 XLT Supermax Power Cage for a lot of reasons. And the biggest reason is that I got some amazing piece of equipment like this that I could use right here at the crib all year round. And, uh, you know, I definitely want to go back to the gym, but while this pandemic is out here, I've created a new environment. Where I could do some things at the crib. Normally I would be doing these like this with my feet together, 
but because I do still get a little bit of, uh, you know, ice on this area that's not underneath the cage, I don't want to risk hurting myself. As you a trainer, you can't hurt yourself because business is closed down. I did me a, I did a couple little, couple little light warm up reps. Then I ran through a little bit of warm up with the cage, and I'm gonna get over here to some of this landman work right fast, and a little rope work. Whew. I love this little piece right here. Uh, I like it because it, you could do a lot of, you could do multiple exercises with it. Uh, I like to use a, a little combo of exor uh, uh, you know, exercise whenever I use it. Uh, it's called uh, Pure Motion um, Shoot. I don't know, I list what the name of it is, y'all. I forgot. I had this name for about six, seven years. Then I just throw in a little rope, just keep my heart rate up, like active rest. particularly come out here to run through y'all through a workout or anything like that. Just came out here to represent on how I get it in throughout the year because I got to XLT. Uh, to me, you know, a lot of days I work out in the house, in the room. Other days I come out here. But there's just like no time for a break, y'all. It's January. How you doing on your New Year's resolution? You get it in yet? You getting fit yet? Man, people be talking. I know. I'm going to get busy when the, when the summertime comes. I'm going to be trying to kill mugs. Because I'll be thinking about when I was out here in the cold in the winter and they took a break, even though they've been training with me, and they want to take a break and not even do an online virtual we got it in. When this summer come, it's going to be beat downs. <laughs> beat downs. As I think about what me and some of the people that have been working, been doing all winter. Now you just get to jump in, hop in. Oh, now I'm going to come work out. Now, nah, homie, I'm going to try to kill you. Because it ain't like we ain't had the conversation. <sighs> ain't no time for breaks. You seen the Elite video? This ain't a I got a winter break game. This ain't I got a corona break game. This is a lifestyle game, and this take, take lifestyle change. 
You heard it. Check out that Elite video. See what I'm talking about. Some of y'all who watched it, you know what I'm talking about. Ain't no time for breaks, man. It's time. In a few short months, you're going to start getting some vaccines and things pushed off into them arms. And you're going to want to make sure you got some blood pushed up off into them arms, too. So you're walking around with your swole zone. With your swole zone. <laughs> All right. I hope y'all like what I showed y'all today. Let me go ahead and wrap the cage up, show you how I wrap it up. And uh, I hope y'all like the video today. Love and peace, everybody. Out. I'm just going to, this is just like snow. I'm just going to wrap it up and I'm going to go underneath and I'm going to wipe it down. Huge tarp. This tarp costs uh, $39. Now, that looks very easy. And it looks easy because I got this huge tarp. But when I didn't have a huge tarp like this and I was wrestling around with several pieces, it was a headache, y'all. It was a true headache. Now you're going to take some, one, a couple of these clamps. See the wind already blowing it a little bit. Put that on there. Then I take my father's father's chains and do that. Knock it out. That way the wind don't blow them off. Blow it around. One more for the other side. Everything's covered. My other set of my father's father's chains. Voila, that's it, y'all.